Let's find the probability of getting a 9 when two dice are rolled. So we have to think of all the ways to make a 9. And a 9 can be made by a 3 and a 6, 4 and a 5, 5 and a 4, or 6 and a 3. So that means that uh, when we want to find that probability of getting a 9, it's going to be the ratio of successful outcomes, and that's all four of these, to the number of possible outcomes. And there will be 36 possible outcomes when two dice are rolled. Then what you should do is uh, reduce your fraction, simplify it into 1 over 9. When we're going to find the probability of getting a 3 or a 10, we should first think about all the ways we can get a 3. And that's with a 1 and a 2, or a 2 and a 1. And also think about all the ways you can make a 10, with 4 and 6, 5 and 5, or 6 and 4. Now we can calculate the probability of a 3 or a 10 by adding the two probabilities together. And the probability of getting a 3 are these two uh, successful outcomes out of the 36 possible, plus these three successful outcomes out of the 36 possible outcomes. Adding those two together, we get 5 out of 36, and that's a fraction that we can't reduce. To find the probability of getting doubles or a 6, let's think of all the ways we can get doubles. That's 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 3, 4 and 4, 5 and 5, or 6 and 6. Then think of all the ways we can get a 6. That's with a 1 and 5, 2 and 4, 3 and 3, 4 and 2, or 5 and 1. So to calculate the probability of doubles or the probability of a 6, we're going to add together the probability of doubles plus probability of 6s, which is 6 outcomes out of 36 plus 5 outcomes out of 36. Now we do have one little problem here, and that is that this 3 and 3 appears on both of these lists. So what we need to do is subtract off the probability of getting a double that is a 6, that 3 and 3. So there's only one outcome that's a double and a 6 out of the 36. So adding uh, 636 plus 536 minus the 136 will leave us with 10 over 36. Simplifying, that'll make 5 out of 18. Finding the probability of a 7 and then another 7, we think about all the outcomes on how to create a 7. That would be 1 and 6, 2 and 5, 3 and 4, 4 and 3, uh, 5 and 2, or 6 and 1. So there are 6 successful outcomes. If we want to find the probability of a 7 and then another 7, we'll have to multiply those two together. So the probability of getting a 7 are these 6 successful outcomes out of 36 possibilities times another 6 out of 36. And that will give us, well, that makes 36 canceling with that one, so we'll have 1 over 36 as our final probability.